Suburban Sentinel here bringing you another gear review. Today I'm going to be looking at a leather gun holster made by the Simply Rugged Company out of Prescott, Arizona. As a matter of disclosure, I have no interest in a Simply Rugged or any of its subsidiaries or its parent company or vendors and I'm not being compensated in any way by Simply Rugged. I'm simply just a retail customer. The holster on the screen is designed specifically for the Ruger SP-101 357 Magnum short barrel, which happens to be one of my favorite everyday carry guns. Simply Rugged produces holsters that are make, model, and barrel length specific. And on its website, they have an extensive uh, fitment chart for a variety of different revolvers and pistols. Uh, in addition, Simply Rugged does custom work. I've been wearing this holster just about every day for more than a year, so I think I have enough information for a detailed review and critique. As usual, I'll go down the gear review checklist, first addressing form, fit, and function. Uh, this is a pancake style holster meaning that it's just two pieces of leather sewn together. Simply Rugged doesn't put too much information about its raw materials on the website. So I'm going to make uh, an educated guess. First, it appears that the holster is made of full grain leather. And for those unfamiliar with different grades of leather, full grain leather is about the best because it is essentially the entire thickness of the cow's hide. And it does appear to be cow's hide as well. Full grain leather is both appropriate and desirable for use in making gun holsters. I'm gonna back the camera out here and see if I can show you the thickness of this leather. And that is a very thick full grain leather in my opinion. I'm not certain what type of thread they use to stitch the two pieces of leather together, but it does appear to be very heavy duty thread. If I had to guess, it looks like it's marine grade or the equivalent. The holster on the screen here is the most basic model. Uh, it relies simply on friction for retention of the gun. And this particular holster has no bells and whistles uh, but they are available. You can get hammer straps. Um, you can get uh, little straps that can convert this outside the waistband holster into an inside the waistband holster. Also, ornamental embossing is available. And I believe they do make this particular holster in a variety of exotic hides like shark. But this is the plain Jane model. It does come standard with three belt slots in case you wanted to carry it with, a, I guess, an FBI can. Let's zoom the camera out here a little bit. And I do carry my Ruger SP-101, which I have here, in this holster. Let me do a quick safety check. And the gun is clear. First, let's look at retention and safety. Again, this holster simply holds the revolver in by friction. And as you can see here, one very important consideration is that the trigger is fully protected. Second, retention on the gun is quite good. I've never had the gun ever come even close to falling out and simply rugged uh, it does say on its website that there is a 1G performance test on all these holsters, meaning that at 1G or the force of gravity will not cause the holster to drop out, uh, even if you're upside down. Now, I have tried this where just holding the holster upside down with the firearm in it, it will drop out. However, the design of this holster is such that when you are wearing this on your belt, the tension of the belt increases the tension on the holster. 
Now I haven't tried this. I haven't done a, a handstand with the gun on and I'm not going to. And I believe that my health insurer and my disability insurance carrier are very grateful for that. I am confident that the retention on the gun is more than adequate for most people. Uh, in normal activities, I've never had a problem. I've done yard work wearing the gun where you're stooping and bending and stretching. No problems at all. Again, if someone else wants to go and do handstands and that kind of thing with a gun on just to, for proof of concept, God bless you. But not me. Moving on to speed. Uh, the gun is very easy to draw from the holster. No problems with that at all. The grip is fully exposed, even with the firearm pressed all the way into the holster. So you get a good purchase on the gun. Is it easy to reholster? Not particularly, it's not difficult, uh, but it's not easy. Quite frankly, I never understood the big deal for ease of reholstering. If you pull your gun out for real, uh, chances are that uh, putting it back in your holster is not going to be uh, something that requires lightning speed. I just don't see that as an, an issue for concealed carry. Moving on to comfort, I have no problem wearing this holster with the rather heavy for its size uh, SP-101 in it. I wear it at about the seven o'clock position, again, because I'm a lefty and I wear it on my strong side. Uh, in this holster, the gun pulls tight to your waist. When used in conjunction with a thick, sturdy gun belt, uh, the, the weapon draws tight to your waist and there's no flopping around. It almost becomes part of your body and that's a very good thing. I have had other holsters that use thinner leather or don't draw as tight to your waist, allowing the weapon to ride loosely on your belt. And I just toss those in the trash. I have a pretty high tolerance for gear that's not aesthetically pleasing or that has cosmetic imperfections, but I have zero tolerance for gear that does not work. And I have to say that I'm 100% satisfied with the performance of this holster. Moving on to the logistics, uh, firstly, the reliability. I've had no problems with the holster at all. Uh, anytime you have dyed leather, you are going to get a certain amount of dye transfer. Uh, however, that has not been a problem. Zoom the camera in and I'll get a little extra light. You will see some of the dye being worn off, especially inside the holster. Hopefully you can see in there. So there has been some dye transfer, but again, it hasn't at all affected the revolver. And I haven't had any problems with excessive dye on my clothing. If you're going to wear anything of dyed leather, uh, don't wear your bespoke English made suits or custom made white shirts at least not till the item is fully broken in and even after that you may want to wear off the rack type of stuff moving on to maintainability maintenance on this holster is very easy uh, occasionally i guess about once every quarter i'll just wipe the holster down with a damp rag and when it dries apply a good quality leather conditioner um, i use lexol but i'm sure any leather conditioner from a reputable manufacturer would be perfectly adequate. Moving on to durability, I expect that this holster will last a good long time. It's made of high quality leather and the stitching is very robust and very well done. And just with a minimal amount of reasonable maintenance, uh, this should last indefinitely. Moving on to interoperability. Uh, there really is none with this particular piece of gear. This is made for a specific make, model, and barrel length of gun, and I think that's a good thing. 
universal holsters do have their place, but in my opinion, not for uh, everyday concealed carry purposes. I want my holsters made for each particular weapon. Moving on to product support, I really haven't needed much uh, help from Simply Rugged at all. I did have a question before I bought this holster. Uh, this particular revolver is set up with a Crimson Trace laser grips and I just wanted to make sure uh, that the holster could accommodate you know, the laser. And Rob Leahy from Simply Rugged uh, got right back to me with an email inquiry. Other than that, I haven't had uh, any dealings with Simply Rugged at all. I have no issues. Moving on to value, this particular holster, and again, this is the uh, plain Jane model for a small frame revolver. This was $45, I believe, plus shipping. And I think that is an excellent, excellent value because this holster uh, it performs really well and should last a good long time. And after a year of nearly everyday carry, has only cosmetic wear. And one of the other big advantages is that Simply Rugged is a small American shop. I'm a big promoter of American manufacturing and also a great fan of small business. Even assuming that the mass produced holsters were as good as the Simply Rugged, which I do not believe. I like the Simply Rugged design set up much better than the mass production stuff. I prefer to give a small American manufacturer the business. Uh, as far as disadvantages, I really don't see any. Uh, I'm 110% satisfied with this product. Uh, I wish I could afford more handguns so I could get more holsters. So that's my review of the small frame revolver holster from Simply Rugged, and I will post their, their web information on the screen. I do have some other products from Simply Rugged, uh, and I will review those separately. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe. This is the Suburban Sentinel. Safe shooting, everybody.